Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're going to fix something that's been bothering me for a while. So every year around this time I go to a car show and Riley's hands out these little screwdrivers and they're really nice precision screwdriver. And you can see that's a Phillips. And you flip it around and you reinsert it. And that's a flat. So inside there is this little sleeve encased in this plastic and it has a hex. And that holds it in there from falling out. Works really well. You can see right here I glued this with some CA glue because this plastic becomes brittle after a while. And when you pull this in and out and push it back, it breaks. And I thought, well, I really like the double-ended feature here. I really like these screwdrivers. How can I fix them? And over the course of the year, I picked up three of them, and you can see this one here. You can see the red one here has got a crack. That also was fixed. And it's just a matter of time. And this one's got some splits in there, too. So it's just a matter of time till all three of these are broken and rendered useless. So I thought, well, before that happens, why don't I just fix them? So I picked up a piece of brass hex here. And it's 375, 3 eighths in diameter. And I went with the brass because it's going to polish up and look kind of nice. I went with the hex so it doesn't roll. So here's a recent tool I made. And there's a video. I'll put a link down below. This is a spring-loaded tap fowler. You chuck this up in your lathe or your mill, and it aids in tapping. Nice thing about this, the hex, when you drop it, or you set it down, it doesn't roll. It's all aluminum, so it's not gonna rust. Here's another tool I made, broken tap, just a wooden handle. I'll put a link down below. This is a scribe. When you set it down, it likes to roll away. So then I made one out of aluminum hex, did a little engine turning, and that doesn't roll. So the same way this brass hex is really gonna look nice and it won't roll away. First thing I gotta do is cut this to length and then I'll meet you over by the lathe. So the plastic handle is three inches long and I cut this brass just about that. But we have to know what size to drill for that sleeve. So let's, well, that broke apart pretty easy. Oh, there's a uh, piece of rubber in there. That's what holds it in there. So I took this over to the vise and I squished it. And we can see how it looks inside. You got the rubber part and you got the hex there. Let's just take the screwdriver and dig out the rubber part. So that's what stops it from falling out and this little hex part that stops it from rotating. So if we measure measure this hex part, it's 236 across the flats and 264, 265 across the points. So after I face it, I'll center drill and drill this quarter inch, about an inch and a half deep. I'll flip around, I'll face it, and I'll come with an angle tool and put a big chamfer on there, and then I'll round a chamfer over it with a file. Always have a file handle on your file when you're working on a lathe, or really any time. So let's face this off for cleanup. Center drill and drill it for a quarter inch.
we go in there and we'll face this off and we'll come back with a chamfer tool, put a big chamfer on there, and then we'll file a nice radius in there. So I came back after I drilled that quarter inch with my center tool and I put a little chamfer. That's going to aid in pressing in that hex piece. And the other side has a nice dome part that will feel good in your hand. This brass has been sitting around and it's a little tarnished. Let's go polish it up and see what that looks like. Here's the before I polished it, what it looks like. And here's after. Pretty nice difference. Let's go over to the vise and we'll press in the hex part and a little piece of rubber. So here's a rubber part that slides in real nice. And here's the little hex part. Now I added a little chamfer there and hopefully that aids us in assembly. Now the most important thing in here is to get this going in straight. So it looks like I got it pretty straight in there. We'll just press that in there. So today we took some broken screwdrivers and made some new handles for them. And this fits in there real nice. Flip it around, you get a flat. Flip it around, you got a Phillips. I know what you're thinking, you don't have any broken screwdrivers to fix, but this video is more about problem solving. What do I have? A broken screwdriver. How do I fix it? Make a new handle. What should I use for material? Why not brass hex so it doesn't roll around? I think it turned out real nice. Best part about it, it feels nice in the hand, nice and heavy. When you're twisting it and screwing, it's really easy on that hex. Doesn't slide on you. Polished up real nice. Doesn't roll too far when you throw it on the table or drop it. The worst thing, if you drop something, it rolls onto your workbench. You can never find it again. So this is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for following along on this video journey today. Please support my channel by subscribing. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.